convinced that humanity's first genuine Whoa. encounter. A hundred and fourteen million, almost a hundred and fourteen million encounters? It will run it for a minute. Or for a little bit. In 1806, the small town of Leeds... Also, this is redundant. All psychics are fake. ...to an apocalyptic frenzy when a chicken began to lay eggs inscribed with the words, Christ is coming. Crowds would travel Makes great tier one, Nana. to stare in awe and terror as the chicken laid these prophetic words. Some saw it as a sign of salvation, others as the beginning of the end times. But the truth was a little less... Biblical, as it was discovered that the chicken's owner, yeah, I love that channel, Whisker, Bateman, also known as the Yorkshire Witch, was painting the eggs herself and reinserting them into the chicken. It's a good plan. It would still work today. Wow. What a ridiculous story, but in the 200 years since, it's one that's played out over and over and over. This woman can channel the spirits of dead Aztec warriors, this man can perform psychic surgery with just his bare hands, <laughs> this man can vomit up interdimensional gemstones, wow. Whoa. and this man will call grandma a bitch. No, 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 is your mom not nice? Oh, she's, my mother's the best. Because I can't tell you what you want to hear. I can only tell you what they're showing me. And if he's calling your mother a bitch, I'm going to pass it on. The details change. Ah. The story is always the same. A person claims to have supernatural powers and profits of the people. That's, um, Brock, uh, uh, fuck, not, what's his name? That's actually a pretty lucrative industry. According to a recent Gallup poll, 40% of people Brocco, believe I think his name is. possess psychic abilities. Despite this Brazo. never Brocco? being proven oh, in the thousands of scientific studies carried out on it and if you're one of those 40 percent look i get it psychic powers would be Thanks rad and i'm punches. not going to say it's completely impossible for forces to exist that currently lie outside the seismic. perceptions of modern science but i am saying that any case of this i have encountered are at best gross distortions of reality rooted in psychological half of these people he's showing right now we have watched worse, on stream some of the darkest things i've ever seen this is pretty cute actually and we we'll made a couple there. videos First, on these people. Ask, if there's really zero evidence in favor of the existence of psychics, then why do so many people believe in them? For me, that answer comes down to two simple principles. People want to believe. And to talk about the first, let's look at one of the arguably less harmful psychic practices, astrology. Not to be confused with astronomy, which is just nice old people Please staring at the sky. In astrology tofu. is the practice of looking at trillion mile away cosmic bodies and reading our future from them. The most That'd popular good plan, form lobster. of which is horoscopes. Again, putting aside just how many times astrology has been disproved, maybe you've had the experience of reading your own daily horoscope <laughs> and thinking, hmm, I do like it when my home is clean. Maybe I will consult a spiritual advisor that, now. That and does maybe, sound about right. The of people finding horoscopes weirdly relatable is very common, and the reason for this isn't cosmic, it's psychological. And it's There's nothing wrong with liking astrology. astrology. It's in just, it's not like a real thing. It's just for fun. California, ...where a student was asked to answer a series of questions. Their answers used to build a personality profile. That student then asked to rate their personality profile on a scale of 1 to 5 for accuracy, and the student, impressed with how insightful the profile was, awarded it a 5, only to discover People take it that too the seriously. same yeah. identical personality profile had been given to each of their 39 classmates, nearly all of whom had rated the profile as highly accurate specifically to them, with an average rating of 4.2 and only 5 students out of 39 giving it lower than than a four, when in fact the actual text was just pulled from a local horoscope. Nice. The study's been replicated many times. The conclusion Thanks being tier one, that Stevie, people will believe Jin. very general statements as genuine descriptors of themselves, as long as those statements are positive in nature. The exact kind <laughs> Shocking. of statements that horoscopes are built from. For what it's worth, I think this kind of astrology, as long as you're not paying for it, is mostly harmless. I mean, it's not like the president of America should be using it to make major decisions or anything. Oh my god! But it does demonstrate the first Bracco! why psychics are so successful. The reinforcement the healing of gaze. beliefs. 
But it's only when we take this and combine it with the second principle that psychics become really powerful. Or, I guess I should say, convincing. Maybe Eric. Ah, hello, traveler. My name is David Tomorrow, and welcome to my psychic corner. Now, a lot of regular humans or terrestrials... He looks like Spock from the new Star Trek movies. Fear and even He's a good looking dude. My abilities. And so, what say we begin with a simple... He's a prime criminal. ...demonstration. I would like for you to pick a number between 1 and 100. But um, just so I can get a read on your mental thought matrix, let's add a few conditions. Let's say that the number has to have two digits. Okay. Uh, neither of those digits can be the same. And, oh, let's say it has to be an odd number. I'm thinking of okay. 73. Have you got it? 73. Okay. I will now reach across the beyond and read that number directly from your mind. I'm ready. Mm, yes. Yes, I can see it. Fuck no, yes. he's onto me. He's onto me. Yes. Shit. I'm busted. It was your number. 37. Uh, 73 is- okay. that's 73 backwards! Thirty-seven, and some of you did not. But all this is, is a simple trick of probability. It might sound like I'm picking from a large pool of numbers, but it's a lot less so when we apply our three conditions. Three and out of the pool chill. of remaining numbers, people have a psychological bias to choose 37. The second most common being 35. And I couldn't find- What about 73? <laughs> That's an interesting coincidence, right? He got- he got- got mine right reversed just when I thought I outsmarted him. A satisfactory him. answer as to why this happens. I've just seen it referenced and recreated enough to know that it does. But if we wanted to make this even more convincing, all we'd have to do is go out into the street, which was the plan for this video before the world ended, and film this trick with random passers-by. And say I try this on 20 people. If it only works a quarter of the time, I can just edit together those five successful reactions and boom, I now have a convincing showreel of yeah. my genuine psychic ability. Okay. Now, let's take that concept even further. Ah, I see there's still some disbelievers among you. Uh, that's, that's quite Thanks, all right. Brother. Perhaps a more extreme demonstration is in order. For you see, now I will reach across the planes of space and time mm -hmm. and communicate with you directly. Do it, I dare you, pussy. <sighs> you won't like what you find here. I'm seeing a city by the sea. <laughs> ah. Yes, Wisconsin, in the United mm. States of America. What? I see... No, you don't know me at all. A young man... What? Surrounded by... Small... Mechanical boxes, cameras. What? Yes, this young man sells cameras. And his name... Is Charles White? Ryan. Oh, okay. You Ryan don't even care about me. M. Yes, that's right, Ryan. I'm communicating with you directly. I hope you and Alyssa are doing well, and that your little cat is living life to its fullest. Stay well, my friend. The world is full of so many beautiful, unknowable oh. things. Give Ryan. Okay, that idiot. probably seemed really, really silly to 99% of you, and it was! But maybe a little less so <laughs> if you're the real life Ryan M, who may have just had the most surreal experience of his entire life. I'm sorry, Ryan, I hope that wasn't too weird. Who I know is a real person because they recently followed me on Twitter. A brief Damn. timeline giving me all the information I needed to- <laughs> This guy shit his pants. Him. Sounds stupid? It is, but it's a trick so common it has a name. Hot reading, which we will get back to yeah. later. But I for mean, that's now, what I focus one, yeah. on is how all this information was delivered. Like if you want to understand psychics, what's important isn't the information they give you directly, but the information they leave out. What made our first trick believable was the omission of how small a pool of numbers we were actually picking yeah, from, as well a great as streamer, he's a great that people have a tendency to choose 37. And in the second case, it was the omission of the fact that I was using Ryan M's social media profile to create an accurate portrait of him. 
And this is the second principle of making people believe you're psychic, the obfuscation of information. And when Or you could just have real superpowers. It can create an effect then you don't so have to cheat. powerful that even hundreds of years after your death, people will remember you for your incredible supernatural abilities. Nostradamus, Appreciate a 15th century it. French Epernic. astrologer who people hello, still Antonio. talk about to this day due to his astounding power in prophesizing historical events that actually came to be. The French he was actually the worst the of Hitler, predictor of all time, of like he couldn't get anything and right. And the terrorist attack of September 11th, of which he wrote, two steel birds will fall in the sky on the metropolis. The sky Nostradamus was a fraud. His latitude. Fire approaches the great new city. Immediately, a huge scattered flame leaps up. Within months, rivers will flow with blood. It's hard to read these words and not be a little shook by the chilling accuracy of Nostradamus. It's just not real! This is how the yep. believers of Nostradamus like to retroactively frame his writing. But in actual fact, what we're looking at here is several lines from different predictions spliced together. Uh -huh. The actual prediction he made that people do associate with 9-11 being earth-shaking fire from the center of the earth. Things the prime seed around and the bird. city. Two great rocks will war for a long time, then Arthusa will redden the new river. <laughs> it's still kind of accurate, right? Well, yeah, uh, Arthusa's okay, been here for a minute. Let's look at the actual solid information here. You have fire, a new city, or at least a city with new in the name, and Arthusa. And two. Oh. That's it. So maybe it's referring to 9-11, or maybe it's referring to the 1835 Great Fire of New York City, in which two people died. It fits both because tier one while Nostradamus' predictions were beautifully written, they were incredibly vague, to the point that they didn't even have specific dates attached to them. And do you know how many he actually wrote? 942, and that's just in his book Les Prophetes alone. So, okay, think about this. If we I, made nearly when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with the Nostradamus shit. Might happen the guy was a huge scam artist. Years, and some went on to kind of resemble future events. That's not a prediction, that's a statistical inevitability and ignores how many of Nostradamus' prophecies never happened. I'm just saying we have yet to encounter a great and terrifying Sky King. And Nostradamus wasn't I can't wait for that, that good at astrology. Other mid-century French astrologers used to talk shit about him for being bad at astrology. Nostradamus? More like Nostradamus. And there it was. The best joke I'd ever make. Wasted Can't click on like a 500 spooky. year old dead star wizard. So if even a dum dum like me can pick apart Nostradamus' prophecies, why are they so believed? Well, what I think it comes back to is our two principles. Does people it's want to believe to this shit? That's as it. Accurate, as long as you leave out how vague they actually were, the fact that they were undated, and the sheer number of them he made. And as for why people would want to believe them, well, I think this comes back to something much deeper. In nearly every case of claimed psychic abilities I've seen, it always comes with the promise Thanks, of giving Rose. relief from one of humanity's two great fears. This was First great, thing. by the way. If anyone doesn't know, uh, this is actually kind of recent. This guy was doing a demonstration to prove that the Lord has chosen him to do like the Lord's bidding. So to prove it, he <laughs> brought this man back from the dead. Uh, it's pretty wonderful, actually. Death, which we'll come back to later, and the second being the future. His predictions let people believe that there was some knowable order to the sheer rampant chaos of everything that will happen and everything that might happen. The future is terrifying, constantly, and Nostradamus gave people the illusion that it could be known and understood. And its powerful promises like Laugh that while you can, the Sky King is coming. <laughs> And I really mean yeah. anyone, even the US military. In the late 60s, a piece of footage aired on Russian television that terrified high-ranking US officials. A Russian woman moving objects across a table ah. 
with just her mind. Jesus Christ, she's too powerful. So frightening is that she can move point, soda cans. America and Russia were locked in the Cold War, a conflict carried out primarily through espionage and information. And if Russia was actually tapping into some latent BB psychic Rex force, or WrestleMania? America Sounds like a horrible meme. The same. Maybe after this, and though. This was the beginning of Project Stargate, a covert government-funded cool. operation in which the US military spent 20 years trying to create psychic super soldiers. If you've never heard of this, and I then they succeeded, saying it sounds, but it's which all led to my to birth. Official government documents released in 1995, as well as the reporting of journalist John Ronson. Test subjects would sit alone in isolated rooms, where they would attempt to telepathically read images from the minds of other isolated subjects and draw the images they saw in a practice known as. <laughs> They train in psychic-based martial arts designed What's to disrupt and confuse fuck? enemies. They suck to telepathically read images so they just... from the minds of other isolated. What a miserable program! The they saw in a practice. Imagine the program worked. They actually made psychic super soldiers, but all they could identify of the enemy is when they were thinking of birds. What a dumb! I, I cannot believe. Well, I can. I mean, we're still at this point for the most part. I'd say it's not like we're smarter this known as remote viewing. They train in psychic based martial arts designed to disrupt and confuse enemies with no physical contact. They reportedly ram themselves into walls repeatedly in an attempt to phase through them and would even infamously spend hours every day performing psychic attacks on goats Whoa. in an attempt to make their hearts explode. The really weird I part hope that being worked. that there's a number of ex-military personnel who claim they were successful, that they had witnessed incidents instances of intense psychic effort leading to goats and other small animals dropping dead from non-physical attacks. However, this has never been confirmed by any kind of documentation. Or we can just take their word, they wouldn't lie. Scientific study. Project Stargate was shut down in the mid 90s after the overwhelming majority of experiments were deemed unsuccessful. Things have run bad. to know of any paranormal ability digital whatsoever, night techno having cost the US taxpayer an estimated 20 million dollars, which would be closer to 100 million by today's standards, and stands as such an odd piece of historical lunacy but a little less so when you look at the position the US military was in. While fear of Russia was definitely part of it, the 1970s also saw America pull out of the Vietnam War, a massively Imagine if we use psychic soldiers for that, though. 50,000 US soldiers, as well as many, many times that in Vietnamese civilians, traumatizing a generation and receiving massive public backlash, ending in a disastrous, costly humiliation for the US military. And the concept of psychic super soldiers, operatives that could obtain enemy information without ever stepping foot on the battlefield or disable enemy forces without direct conflict, that could change the face of He's war, save the lives the of thousands, and potentially lead to more peaceful solutions. I appreciate to that. Thank you, Grant, and welcome. And that was a desire so strong, all it took was a Russian lady performing simple parlor tricks for the US military to believe it. And it's promises just like this that would let a new breed of celebrity psychic gather infamy across the world. The biggest emerging directly from Project Stargate. And his name was Uri Geller. Uri Geller first rose to prominence wow. when, in a test I've never heard of him. by the Stanford Research Institute, scientists concluded not only did he have the ability to telepathically read images from the minds of other people, <laughs> but also to physically manipulate metal with his mind. The foot Magneto, the fuck yeah. Staggering, genuine Whoa. displays of psychic abilities played in front of millions of people. Every daytime talk show, every news segment wanted Geller, transforming him into a bona fide pop culture phenomenon. And it was all backed by real scientific evidence. Maybe some Even real, the CIA or, will, conducted wait, a study on Geller in which they concluded he demonstrated his paranormal perceptual abilities in a convincing, Unambiguous. Man, maybe science isn't that point, accurate. Geller even went which is making me question science itself. And unleashed a psychic blast across the country, only for the show to receive dozens of phone calls from people reporting strange psychic occurrences. TV sets would flicker and warp, and animals would react in strange ways. <laughs> it just it blows up the house cat through the TV. Into the fervor surrounding Geller. 
Not only did he fit beautifully into the popular movement of 70s New Age spiritualism, here was a man that was proof that humans could be more than human, that inside every one of us lay massive amounts of untapped potential. And it was such an amazing concept and one that Geller grew very, very Holy shit, show. how tall is he? Did, waves of other psychics entered public consciousness, all taking what had once been small town acts to a now national level. Faith healers yeah, like Peter Popoff Olympics. would cram thousands of feverish believers into gigantic mega tents. God providing Popoff with the details about his followers' personal lives, where they lived, their relatives, and even the diseases that plagued their bodies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that Vince McMahon? To burn Take cancer that. from the sick and let the wheelchair bound walk again bathing his audiences in the healing light of God, all proof that the spiritual could overcome the physical. It's not a it cult. Such a beautiful It's idea. magic. It was just a lie. And the person who would expose this came Randy. Not the form of a scientist, but a magician. <laughs> My his man name was the amazing Randy. The thing that Randy was most keen to point out is that science. I think he's dead now, right? Or maybe that's just what he wants us to believe. Psychics as regular people. And so if you wanted to catch them, you needed experts in the psychology of stage magic and sleight of hand, which Randy very much was. He actually ran away to join the circus as a child before becoming a noted escape magician, but in his later years became known in magical circles as the psychic hitman. As he'd host TV specials where he would bring. I didn't realize how important he was to stopping pseudoscience. Well, it's not pseudoscience, scams. Exposing their tricks and revealing them as frauds. There was a definite schadenfreude to watching psychics struggle to explain why their abilities no longer worked. It seems something went a bit wrong this time. What explanation could there be, James? Well, it's quite possible that um, this has been the first time that I've ever attempted this, right? Mm -hmm. And it's quite possible that um, I've allowed myself um, to come into it, okay? But this is what let Randy gain notoriety and set his sights on even bigger targets. One of whom was Peter Popoff. Well, Pop <gasps> Peter! I thought this was Joe Pesci! P uh, Peter Popoff's my boy. I've talked about Peter Popoff a lot. Someone even sent me his holy water. Peter Popoff has that incredible water. Oh my, I love Peter Popoff. This guy's the man. I didn't recognize him at all. Holy shit. I guess I only know what he looks like when he's old as oh. Yeah, Miracle Spring Water is the one I'm talking about. It's crazy. He says it cures everything and makes you taller or whatever. It's really cool. Verdict in your life. You don't have to live a life sentence of lack and defeat. You hey, can be tier free one to enjoy dollar all tier of one donkey. To give some TBR. That's why he wants to send you your free packet of Miracle Spring Water. Did you try it? Yep. I drank it. For the miracle you need. Still not taller. In a larger size. I had been in two car accidents, and the doctors kept saying, "Well, here you got to take painkillers." I used your Miracle Spring Water, and mm -hmm. it's gone. The banks had told me that I could not. Oh, yeah, he also says it gives you money. I prayed, I believed, I followed every instruction, and on May 26th, we closed on our dream home. Stop settling on less. God. And reach for God's best. I love Peter Popoff. Operation conducted by Randy revealed that the voice speaking to him was not God but his wife, who would relay people's information from prayer cards they'd fill out before the show, transmitting the information to Popoff through a small radio receiver in his ear, all of which Randy exposed on live television. I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Uh-oh. Right on your right side. Okay, she moves at 4267 Masterson. <laughs> 4267 It's like cheating in the spelling bee. Of God all around your house. The healing effects of Popov's sermons being nothing more than the adrenaline rush he'd create with his charisma and showmanship. His divine healing fading once the show was over. Actually, the oldest cheating strategy in the book. However, Randy had an even bigger target in mind, and it was... Ori Geller. Yeah. One by one, Randy would recreate each of Geller's tricks with sleight of hand and perform them on live television, even following Geller across the country. Geller would appear on a talk show stunning hosts with his psychic power, and Randy would appear on the same show the next week <laughs> exposing exactly how he did it. Randy's even so good. Creating Geller's psychic blast across America by doing the same through a radio DJ who made no claim of being psychic, only for dozens of people 
people calling in with the same reports of psychic phenomena. The trick being that if you send a psychic blast out to hundreds of thousands of people, at least a few of them are going to by sheer coincidence notice something odd and conflate it with psychic power. Randy and Geller hated each other. I love Randy. Geller accusing Randy of trying to destroy his career and even sued him multiple times, all yeah. of which were unsuccessful. He was trying to destroy Randy your career for good reason. Stated, I want to be cremated and I want my ashes blown into Uri Geller's eyes. <laughs> the apex of the bottom of the magician of the psychic came Fuck, Randy's cool. when Geller made an appearance on the Johnny Carson show, in which Carson, unbeknownst to Geller, had received instructions from Randy on how to prepare the props for Uri's tricks and to not let Geller or his people near them before the show. And the results were well. Jarrett, we are back. You're early. Is it tier one, Drado? You, you, you don't feel what? Strong tonight? I don't Is feel that... strong. Yeah, we, have, we have three epic canisters there, and we have seven over here. <laughs> and, uh, and a bent spoon. And a spoon. And a spoon that's got a, a, a slight bend in it. Uh, Geller was humiliated, but if he was a fraud, how was he able to fool the CIA? Well, the interesting part there is that if you do read the government study, it does all sound pretty impressive until you get to the line, good results were obtained in the four days where there was no openly skeptical observer. That's not how science works. And so both what the off publicly disgraced disappeared into obscurity, never to make a single cent more from their fraudulent psychic abilities. Only that's not what happened at all. Both men would continue to make massive amounts of money. Pop God off damn right. Did his act to sell his blessed healing holy water. Yes, that's right. Stop settling on less. Oh, he even played the commercial. God is a god of more, and now there's more miracle spring water in a new, larger packet. And Uri would go on to make many interesting business ventures, and would eventually claim that he wished to be known as a mystifier as opposed to a psychic, but still constantly. Reinforces the idea that he has supernatural powers to this day, including, and I am not making this up, writing a letter to Theresa May claiming he would psychically stop Brexit. And he did. The very normal sentence. Three years before you became Prime Minister, I predicted your victory when I showed you Winston Churchill's spoon on my Cadillac, which I asked you to touch. What are we doing? Can't argue with that. Randy, meanwhile, would go on to offer a $1 million cash prize to anyone who could prove they had legitimate psychic power, of which hundreds of people applied and none were successful. Randy, continuing his fight to disprove psychics and expose frauds for the rest He's of so the cool. year. He's so cool. And the thing was, people hated him for it. Thanks for five gift subs, King Cocos. vindictive, Thank scientific you, entity attacking innocent spiritualists and pushing back on a movement that was ultimately harmless. No, I you say Yuri Gell is a fake. fake. No, you came here and you've given never. everybody a lot of lip never. service no, 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 and you haven't done anything I except show said. us a lot of tricks that you I learned out of your two bad act that you're not I working never in. Saw. It sounds like Twitter as a person. And this brings us to a really important question. Is there actual danger in yes. people claiming to be psychic? Yes. Sc they so literally get Blair scammed. Rose to fame in the late 80s. They lose so much on money on this shit. They prey on vulnerable people. I hate it. The dead. Those spirits giving her visions of the future, letting her instantaneously diagnose people's medical conditions, and most infamously, allow her to help locate missing and dead people. Some things she was very, three very black bad work at. And toxic I lost my boyfriend tragically um, a few years ago. They never found him. And I've had such a hard time since. Every day. The reason why you didn't find him is because he's in water. You can't find somebody. Well, it was September 11th. There was no, he was a fireman, but there was no <laughs> oh, I've seen him in water. Holy yeah, shit. He couldn't breathe and he was still in oh, water. Oh, fuck. Like if they were trying to put the fire out to Montana. They could have, you know, I, yeah. What Sylvia is trying Damn, she to do here 
is a technique she killed their own career right there a trick mediums use to convince people they're actually talking to dead people and accessing information they never otherwise could have when in reality what they're actually doing is leading with a very general statement that has a high likelihood of being true particularly in a room full of people and there's some type of restriction and then he just tells me that he died suddenly um i am being pulled into the section somebody passed in a car accident I want to say there's either a Suzanne or a Susie connection to this. Starting with a, a gentleman, Reg. And I also mentioned Frank. Like, I don't think anyone needs an explanation on how it's bullshit, right? Like, it's pretty obvious. Precise, manipulative wording. So, for example, you could say. It's not even like, well done. Didn't have an interest in cars, did he? This is a good bet because most men of a certain age and generation like cars. And so if the answer is yes, hey, you were right. But if the answer is no, you were also right because you already planted a negative in the original statement. And now you can just option select into, ah, I didn't think so, and move on to your next gamble unscathed. Cold reading can be incredibly convincing. People still believe this. Stop acting like society today is smarter than it was back then. Then. People believe this shit probably more so died. now than ever. Please, if you can, how did she die? She was shot. She just collapsed in her room. I don't know, but something looks like combustion. They found in nothing the chest. on the or top. I don't care, nothing. but it looks like something hit her in the chest. The reason I'm focusing on Sylvia isn't just because she was bad at cold reading, it's because despite the fact she was so bad at it, she was still massively successful. Yeah, that's she charged fucking crazy. $50 for a 30 minute cycle. Holy cold shit. Reading. She released 57 books, one of which was about what dead celebrities were doing in the afterlife, and even had people pay thousands of dollars to join her on psychic cruises. That is how easy it is to succeed in this business. But where this goes from shameful to truly abhorrent is her work in finding missing persons. Yeah, uh, hold on. I need to pee real bad. I'm gonna fill up my water as well. So just give me two seconds. Sorry to blue ball you, but I'll hit you with a psychic blast to hold you over while I'm gone. All right, bear back. All right, hit you with the brown note. Sorry, change your pants. Okay, I'm back. Thanks to the resub, Rada, and the Bits D Pro. At multiple points, she's pretty oh, true. Elemental, yeah. Child to be alive, giving the parents hope, only for that child to be found dead. She's not dead, but for some reason, she was taken and put into some kind of slavery thing and taken into Japan. Whoa, what the fuck? Four years later, the little girl's remains were found near Fort Worth, Texas. An autopsy showed she was killed shortly after vanishing. She's given tips on missing children. Holy shit. Nowhere and diverted attention away from the actual investigation. Case in point, just listen to what Sylvia Brown told Sean Hornbeck's parents about their son's kidnapper nearly four years ago on the Montel Show. God, the quality's show. bad. The guy was um, dark skinned. Is he still with us? <laughs> Thankfully, Sean Hornbeck was found last week alive and well. His alleged abductor, Michael Devlin, is not Hispanic, and he didn't have dreadlocks at the time of the abduction. And she even once told a mother Holy that the missing daughter dead, only for that daughter to be found six years later alive, the victim of a kidnapping. The mind-melting tragedy being that by this point, the girl's mother had died never to learn her daughter was still alive. This woman is a ghoul, a vulture of misery, but for True. as awful True. as she was, she's not alone. This is she still alive? In missing persons cases, particularly with children, where dozens of psychics descend on the victim's family, all offering different readings on how they can find their child, or even more grimly, no, communicate she's dead. with them. Alright, I'm getting a psychic reading of my own right now, actually. I think she's somewhere very hot. 
their deceased loved ones. Oh, yeah. paid Interesting. Paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I get it, it's easy to victim blame here, to ask how anyone could be so gullible as to fall for this. But according to Bob Nygaard, a private investigator who works <laughs> exclusively in psychic fraud, the he looks like a psychic fraud detector. His clients is deep personal trauma. <laughs> These are people who have had their lives destroyed by sickness, by abuse, by loss. Damaged, vulnerable people who want to believe that death isn't the end, that they could still have one more moment with the person they loved. Things to be subjective. Can't blame them for that but I can absolutely blame the parasites who prey on them. There's another deeper, arguably more troubling layer to all this, and that's when supernatural fantasies become so strong, they start to inflict physical damage on people. Take, for example, the Breatharians, a spiritual movement that insists that humans do not need food to survive. Oh, I remember these guys. Instead, draw their nutrition from the energy of the sun and universe. Now, other YouTubers have come under attack for not presenting a balanced view of Breatharianism, so allow me to listen no, they to haven't. positive points. No one has come under Grocery attack from Breatharians. There's like nine of them. You will meet some interesting people. You will lose weight. Some folk say it feels nice. Now, it has killed several people. I actually wasn't planning on touching Breatharianism in this video, mainly because my buddy Atrocity Guide had already done a great breakdown of it, until her video was taken down by noted Breatharian Peter Strawbinger, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have done that, Peter, because now you're in this video and a lot more people are going to see that you're attempting to control a narrative you have no business controlling. By the way, go support Atrocity Guide. She makes fantastic stuff. Atrocity Guide is video absolutely now, great. I hope it's becoming apparent that the real danger... Is the video back up? I'd like to watch the Breatharianism. means to believe... Well, whatever you want, but the price is a disassociation with reality, and at worst, can trap people in a delusion tier one so carrot. strong, even human life becomes meaningless. On the 14th of November 1996, noted UFO expert Dr. Courtney Brown called into the Art Bell radio show, an associate of Brown's having captured a photo of the Haley Bop comet, only to find a large glowing object traveling beside it. Mm. Through intensive psychic remote sessions, Brown and his students had discovered the object was mechanical in nature, was on a trajectory oh, to pass wow. by Earth, and was attempting to communicate with us. That the thing was the word fast and hurting. Interesting, because all the stuff Heaven's oh, Gate. Out. And it was funnel. Yep, and this is Heaven's Gate. I, I can already tell. Great. All right. He also figured out in the emotions, in the emotions column of the Matrix, he had emotions of dread, concentration, fear. This broadcast was heard by millions. Art Bell's website crashing from the legions of ecstatic and terrified people convinced that humanity's first genuine Whoa, encounter- 114 million, almost 114 million encounters? Whoa, I had no idea the whole Heaven's Gate thing was that popular. Damn, me, Art. ...with an extraterrestrial was at hand. On the evening of the comet, 39 people entered a small diner in San Diego, all with the same cropped hairstyle and all ordered the same identical meal. Iced tea, salad, turkey, and blueberry cheesecake. That night, all 39 were found dead. Yep. They committed suicide as part of the Heaven's Gate cult all convinced that by leaving their mortal bodies, They'd go their on. souls could board the spacecraft flying yep. alongside the comet and ascend past humanhood. When the comet did pass, there was no sighting of any kind of object beside it. And still, somehow, it gets darker than even this. Psychics and faith healers have- But maybe they did make it to the spaceship. Who knows? Their own supernatural healing as a replacement for legitimate medicine. This is too much butter. This is not cancer. It's something on a spiritual level that has been said towards him. If you've got pills as an act of faith, well, I want you just to throw them out the aisles. Those of you up in the balcony, just throw them over the side. Yeah, get rid of that shit. Get how destructive this can be. I'm gonna read out a list of names. Mary Welch, Austin Sprout, Madeline Newman, Neil Beagley, Ava Worthington, Ricky Sevy. Free Xanax? I mean, it's Peter Popoff. 
You absolutely know he went on the floor and started crawling and taking the pills. ...from simple preventable diseases because their parents chose to treat things like appendicitis and bladder infections with spiritual healing as opposed to traditional medicine. And this list is not even close to being complete. There's a religious faith healing group called the Followers of Christ Church, which some of the names here are from, and their graveyard is littered with the headstones of children ranging from one day to one week old, with an infant mortality rate of 10 times what's normal. And I don't know what's more horrifying, that there are places like Idaho that to this day protect this kind of faith healing under law, mm -hmm. or how the parents of some of these children try and justify what they've done. I would like to remind you that this country was founded on religious freedom. Whenever you try to restrict one person or another in any fashion, then you're chipping away at freedom. My Bible, my Jesus Christ, tells me to put my faith and trust in Him. I don't put limitations on God. It's hard for me not to look at this footage and not think of the line from James Randi's book, When Reason Sleeps, Monsters Come Forth. Randi knew the danger that lay in dragging people into the delusional world of the supernatural. The resub, and he spent his entire life trying to warn us. James Randi passed away last year, and we lost a real hero but part of that tragedy is that we need him now more than we ever have because this stuff isn't getting better it's getting worse a lot Despite worse everything. a lot all worse the debunking, all the exposed scams the measurable loss of human life psychics have never been more popular the psychic industry currently estimated at 2.3 billion dollars at a growth rate of 53 percent since 2005. The, prime the pandemic leaving people isolated and vulnerable only spiking those numbers god and that's gotta be awful gothic yeah the rise of a new breed of celebrity psychic remember that guy who called grandma a bitch at the beginning of this video this clown is john edwards and he is isn't some back alley psychic, he regularly appears on daytime talk shows in front of millions of people. He hey, made his own congrats. show that ran for years, and this is not uncommon. In 2019, the New Never York Times wrote an actually. article in which supposed psychic Thomas John was exposed for hot reading at a live event. That's right, the same stupid bullshit I pulled earlier in this video. Only the information he was using came from fabric Facebook posts that were planted by a group trying to catch him. Nice. Maria, Maria, Maria. Do you know who that is? Because he's bringing up Maria. Now, I don't want to scare you, but are, do, have you had Probably not, so. So your dog is here. Must be your dog, because there's a dog. This was called Operation Pizza Roll, and did it destroy <gasps> Thomas John's career? Nope. No, within a year, he had his own TV show called Seatbelt Psychic, which was promoted by massive celebrities like James Corden, the, who if, peddled his- If James Corden ever says something is good, I know it sucks ass. There are few people I dislike more in Hollywood than James Corden. I've never even once accidentally found even the slightest bit of enjoyment from anything James Corden has ever done in his whole life. Garbage to Just their 26 to do a little James million Corden YouTube thing. followers and who knows how many more in national TV audience. This is a huge part of why this stuff is so hard to end because the media constantly reintroduces it back into the news cycle for the simple reason that we found a real psychic is always going to make a more Ooh. compelling headline than psychics still aren't real. The same way Sylvia Brown got her claws into America in the 80s, modern psychics are being promoted in an identical fashion. Teresa Capitao, Matt Frazier, Alison Dubois, Cara Margolis. I could go on, but I don't, I don't know any of them. want to. What the People are still shoving their hands up pieces the of anybody? chickens and we're applauding them. But now there's an even more dangerous evolution of this. A new kind of celebrity psychic, but ones with the backing of gigantic multinational media corporations. TikTok stars. If you want to see this, look no further than Tyler Henry. Oh, 
Who? With an estimated net worth of $1.7 million, Tyler Henry rose to prominence with his ongoing four-season smash hit TV show, Hollywood Medium with Tyler Henry. Never heard of which it. Which he performs psychic readings for celebrities like the Kardashians, Latoya Jackson, Megan Fox, Boy George, Bella Thorne. The most popular clips have been doing this, gathering as many as 10 million views. And his readings super are convincing, especially if you ignore how much they resemble both cold and hot reading, as well as the fact that he's doing this with celebrities whose personal information and family history is publicly available. Yeah, how impressive. He can Again, read Wikipedia pages. Yourself, what is the information we're not seeing here? This guy is surrounded by a gigantic entertainment conglomerate in the E! Network who has a financial incentive to make him appear as legitimate as possible, especially when most of the celebrities he's reading for are part of that same network. So if he wanted access to the personal information of someone, he has made Being a psychic these days is the easiest thing, because everyone posts their whole life on Twitter. Episodes, we're never going to I don't know how you believe anything you like this. Wrong. So which sounds more reasonable? Everything I just said, or that this 25 year old is actually talking to ghosts and is the one exception to everything humanity has ever recorded about the observable universe. And even then, he does occasionally slip, like at a press conference in 2016, when he was asked about Trump's future in the 2016 election, in which he gave a non-committal, I've been watching him and I'm not worried. Maybe you should have worried a little, Tyler. He's also stated that he would be open to working with the police on missing persons cases. Ah, uh, just what they Tyler, needed. Do not do that. And Tyler, if you are watching this, and I get the feeling you will, because I think you're the kind of person who Googles your own name, I don't care if you believe you're psychic. I don't care if you believe you're doing good. I care that you are promoting an industry that has destroyed lives and manipulated millions, and you and every yeah. other psychic who profits off their but supposed he can read abilities without proving it under any kind of legitimate scientific testing should be so deeply ashamed. This brings us to the final three of Maddie Zilla. Psychics. Thick thighs save lives in something clever. Damage than any other and social Kaze. media. I've noticed a growing number of psychics operating off platforms like TikTok. Yeah. I've made the decision to not call these people out at this point for the reason that they all currently have a much smaller following than mine and I don't <gasps> enjoy No, it. not Twitch. What I am going to say to these people is I am watching. And if you don't want to appear in one of these videos, find another way to get followers. Before we finish, I want to address what I think is going to be a pretty God, they're amongst us in Twitch! Ah! Video. The idea that saying all psychics are deceitful based on a couple of bad examples is like saying all restaurants are bad based on a couple of cases of food poisoning. But the difference what? here is that poison isn't a necessity of cooking. Makes the prime poopal is a necessity of psychics, and that's going to be true until it's proved otherwise. I don't think all psychics are evil. I think some are just delusional. But either way, they're promoting Doesn't mean they the can't be evil. Lie, and normalizing it to ordinary people, and doing so, making them vulnerable to the kind of predatory abuse we've seen this entire video. Okay, I feel like the only question left is why? Why out of all the problems in the world watered. am I making a video Thanks about the tin, psychics? Like the, prime the truth pretty. is that this video isn't really about psychics. I mean, it is, but it isn't. What we're talking about here isn't really people who can channel aliens or bend spoons or talk to the dead. This is about how people choose what they believe in. And if your takeaway from this video is that dumb people will believe in silly things, I have failed at my job. People want to believe in things that bring them comfort, and they will even if those things are incorrect as long as that information is presented in the right way. Everyone is vulnerable to this. It has nothing to do with education or intelligence. Damn, this is like this a is huge fact spitting section. Condition. The world is terrifying, constantly and we so badly need comfort from the chaos that is happening all around us all the time. And it's that that makes us vulnerable, not just to psychics, but to any number of people willing to distort reality to their own end. 
we're coming out of a year that saw even the basic nature on of lane. information become so distorted and corrupted. So I think we need to start having conversations about how we choose what we believe. Because if we can't decide on something as simple as psychics, what hope do we have for everything Fuck else? letting people choose what or they believe. They clearly can't be trusted. I'll choose for them from now on. To James Randi's book that is so much truer now than it was 40 years ago. Folly and fakery have always been with us, but it has never before been as dangerous as it is now. Never in history have we been able to afford it less. He's a bit elemental in the prime Holland. The bit albatross. Oh, friends, thank you. That was a good video. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you got something out of it. Yeah, I didn't think I'd watch the whole thing. I love psychics, faith healers, and mediums. That shit is the goofiest thing. But yeah, obviously it's extremely dangerous, but I mean, no matter what you say to someone who believes these things, they will never change their way. No matter what. Try and argue that astrology is fake to someone that's super big into it. They're not going to change. They'll just ignore you. So, I mean, it's worthless. Might as well just laugh at it. Like, even in Randy's time, who conclusively disproved the psychics, as you saw, they still went on to be multi-millionaires, extremely successful people. So as long as someone wants to believe it, they'll believe it. Nothing you can do about it. God, that was a really cool video, though. I hadn't even heard of any of those new psychics. Let me see Tyler Henry. You in the chat, Tyler?